Lady. Observe, you demon horde. She is here! We await your command. Your mind, my lady. Even such as we fear Lucifer's wrath. Fear? I know not the meaning of fear! Lucifer is a powerful enemy. We would understand if you choose not to fight this day. There is no other choice. Were you not there when I first took an oath as Lady Death? The time is now. We march on Lucifer! I will not stop till the Lord of Lies is dead! It's souls I'm after. I have a war to wage. Only God huh? can take charge of men's souls. Or have you forgotten your place in God's grand plan, Matthias? God's grand plan? Oh no, I haven't forgotten. Take the boy and his father. You are. You beast! He's just a boy! <laughs> no, 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 no! Mother! Mother! Good. When will the madness end? As long as God rules in heaven, this eternal struggle will never end. <laughs> Matthias speaks, and God answers. Satisfied, priest? Perhaps you pray to the wrong God. God works in mysterious ways. Father in heaven, why have you forsaken us? I've made up my mind, Hope. I'm not going back to school at Uppsala. But Niccolo... Our world is not ready for science. At least, not the type I wish to learn. Then what will you do? Go to where I can learn. Come with me, Hope. It's too dangerous. The war, the plague. I've heard this all before. I can't. Father would never let me leave. Your father cares nothing for you or your safety. He's utterly consumed by his personal crusade. He needs me. I need you too. Since Mother's death, I'm all he has left. I wish she were here now. She would know what I should do. I am here. You are kind and good, Niccolo. Like she was. Don't ever leave me, Niccolo. Promise me. I promise you. We are destined to be together in this world and the next. Niccolo. Hope. Yeah! 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 Daughter, you disrespect me by ignoring my wishes. You know you are forbidden to leave the castle without my permission. I meant you no disrespect. My lord, if you must place blame, know then that I am the one who is at fault. I see. Niccolo, is it not? You study medicine at Uppsala. I am Niccolo, but I am no longer a student. I came to tell Hope that I am finished at Uppsala. Excellent. My army's always in need of a good surgeon. I am not a surgeon. Quiet! God can ill afford to lose any more poor souls to the devil. Take our new recruit to the camp. There are many fresh wounds to sow. No! Father, <laughs> no! No, no Hope. Niccolo! Hope! We will be together. It is our destiny. <clears throat> Father, I beg you. Niccolo is... Niccolo uh, is mine for all eternity. See to it that my daughter is returned safely to my castle. 
You will stay there and reflect upon your insubordination. I will decide an appropriate punishment for you when I return. <clears throat> Matthias claims he does God's work. I say blasphemy. God would never condone the useless deaths and atrocities brought about by this madman. Tonight, this unholy travesty must be put to an end. Are you with me? I conjure thee, invisible shadow. I call to thee, illuminators of darkness. Destroyers of light. I call to thee by the name that I was given. I ask thy gate be open. Open to me. Open the gate! We have a message for Matthias. It is late. Come back in the morning. This cannot wait. The question is, who are you? Take him! Take the mm. blasphemer! <sighs> I see you also do the devil's work. I'm impressed. I am a man of God. And yet the blood on your staff would seem to argue otherwise. <gasps> ah! I have plans for more, but they'll wait till tomorrow. As for you, I'm afraid your punishment will have to wait. See you in hell, daughter. <laughs> Unholy spawn of evil, you shall be condemned to death for the sins of your father! God help me. <laughs> I wasn't expecting visitors, but I do appreciate the company. Don't go. I see you are awake. What do you plan to do with me? 
Isn't it obvious, girl? I had no part in my father's affairs. Do you take me for a fool? How else can you explain why you were not destroyed by Lucifer's deadly fire? I have no explanation. How long have you been the devil's consort? How dare you? He was my father! Does the devil come to you other than in his earthly guise? Now reveal your witch's secrets to me. We have nothing further to say. Oh, so be it. You will burn in hell for all eternity! I suggest you make peace with whatever gods you worship. Confession is good for the soul, even one as cursed as yours. So, you didn't leave after all. Actually, I just got here. You will have to forgive the delay. I am Pagan, court jester to the Prince of Darkness. And you are... No, don't tell me. Let me guess. You are Hope, the hopelessly naive daughter of Matthias, also known as Lucifer, the Lord of Lies. And thank God, you don't look a thing like him. God, if I have done anything to offend you, I ask your forgiveness. Oh, please. You think that's gonna keep you from burning at the stake? Get away from me! You're disgusting! I need you. Nicola? We are destined to be together in this world and the next. How? Not one of my better impressions. Bastard, why do you torment me? Isn't my death enough? Mm, actually, now that you mention it, no. What then? I can offer you eternal life alongside your lover, Nicolo. All you need do is honor your father and take your rightful place by his side. Honor Lucifer? It is a holy commandment. It's so difficult to keep track these days. Never. Get out. Get out! As you wish. But keep in mind your father's prayer. When yours fail to bring you salvation, we'll be waiting. By the way, I have grown rather fond of your Niccolo in the past few days. and sins of your father and your own sins against God. I hereby sentence you to death. You may proceed. I am waiting for you, Hope. We can be together again. You know what to do. Speak the prayer and join me for eternity. No, Niccolo! No, this is not real. You are not here. No, no! Speak the prayer now. Before it's too late. I am waiting for you. Me. I call to thee, invisible shadow. I call to thee, illuminators of darkness, destroyers of light. I call to thee by the name I was given. I ask thy gate be open, open to me.
Consume thy sinner and let the wicked burn. was here a minute ago, but, um, well, I lost him. You... all lies. I should have known. What have I done? I damned myself and my soul for a lie. Things could be worse. I doubt that. We are in hell, you know. <laughs> Believe me, things can get worse. <laughs> Lucifer's got what he wanted. Take me to him. Take me to my father. Maybe later. First, I'll indulge you with a proper reception and adjust that attitude of yours. Well, this could take some time. <laughs> You're turning out to be quite a resilient girl. We'll fix that. <laughs> oh, come on, Hope. Work with me. Work with me. God, help me. Enough! Enough. I've had enough. Like I was saying, things will get worse. I understand my daughter has been giving you trouble. She has been quite a pill, but nothing I can't handle, Lord. Then bring her to me, at once. As you wish. <laughs> now what, Father? I can put an end to all your suffering. I've heard that before. You promised much, but delivered nothing. As my daughter, you possess great power. Power that knows no equal in heaven or hell. I can teach you how to harness this power. Together we can... I've had enough of your lies! You promised I would be with Niccolo for all eternity! Niccolo! Niccolo! I wish nothing more than that. Here is your precious Niccolo. And what's left of your dear departed mother. Mother? Oh, God, no. What have you done to them? God help them. It's too late for God's mercy. Their souls are mine. Uh, join me, and I will set them free. Uh. Life in hell can be beautiful, daughter, if you let it. Desire equals power. No more lies. Kill me, demon. Kill me now. So be it. <laughs> <laughs>
Hear me, Lucifer. Hope is dead. I have taken her place, and I will find a way to destroy you! I'm impressed. The nameless wolves are not so easily tamed. Who are you? Have no fear. I am Cremator, and ever since I first saw your entrance, through the gates of hell, I knew you would be the one who could defy the Lord of Lies and survive. I don't understand. It's a long story. We have time. I was once known as the Chief Weapons Master to the Archdukes of Hell, a slave with the ability to harness the fires of hell with my own hands. Now I seek purpose, like you. What does all this have to do with Lucifer? There was a time... Long ago, when I discovered that Lucifer was the cause of my mortal death, my existence unraveled as I was forced into slavery to spare the soul of the one I loved. The torment was more than any soul could bear. I hungered for revenge. Lucifer! Now you die! So I challenged him. And failed. Lucifer spared my soul, but cursed me with a constant reminder of the truth. I underestimated him. I will not make that same mistake again. And what is that truth? There is no freedom in hell. I've merely escaped his clutches for the moment, as you must have. The Prince of Darkness is powerful, but he's not invincible. How is it that you've managed to survive his wrath? I am his daughter, and I will not rest until I've destroyed him! Uh, then I see we have something in common. Come, we have work to do, if we plan to defeat the Lord of Lies. What is this place? This is the Chasm of Ptolemya. Here we are safe from Lucifer's influence. So how will we get close to Lucifer? It will be difficult to catch him off guard. To defeat him will take time, patience, and careful preparation. So when do we start? That is entirely up to you.
Your cape, my lady. You have learned much during your time in hell. Yet your spirit seems troubled. You taught me to be a warrior, to draw upon my inner strength. Yet there is a power in me which I cannot control. You once told me, Lucifer said, desire equals power. Do you remember? That was years ago. I desire nothing more than to destroy him, and in the process free the souls of my mother and Niccolo. Still, desire has not helped me channel the power we both know I possess. You have the power, worthy of Hell's kingdom. What we must now do is focus on acquiring the right tool that can harness the power within you. A tool? That's right. And I know where one can be found. So what are we waiting for? It will not be easy. Nothing will stand in my way. You have learned to focus your energy through your swords. The trouble is, they were not forged to withstand such power internally. I know all that. When I was Hell's chief weapon master, I made a sword, the likes of which had never been seen before. That sword, named Darkness, belongs to Asmodeus, an archduke charged with protecting the gates leading to the seventh level of Hell. You think this sword is the tool I need? There is only one way to find out. Then it's decided. Alert our troops. Milady, <sighs> if I may suggest. What is it? Better to go in with a small hand-picked team. Now is not the time for open war. We could lose the element of surprise. Then tonight, Asmodeus will fall. Then let us go and plan for the assault. your film? <laughs> what more can you take from me? Your beauty. idea of fun. Why should he have all the fun? Asmodeus! Death has arrived. I'm going to enjoy ripping you to pieces. Hellspawn! No, Cremator. He's mine. Foolish girl, death facilitates the pleasures of hell. But it is no excuse for invading my land! <laughs> <laughs> what?
Wash a pity, Opa, and no bite. No cremator. Uh, too easy. Care to try that again? All right, demon. Let's end this. <laughs> You were right. This is too easy. Who are you? Death. Lady Death. Insolent race, you cannot kill me. I am Asmodeus, Archduke of the Sun. Impressive for a Hellspawn Smith. Now belongs to me, Lady Death. Soon we march on the Lord of Darkness. Stay here and face certain death at the hands of Lucifer, or join us in our fight against the Great Blasphemer. The choice is yours. <laughs> I will search for weapons and supplies that can be of use to us, my lady. We should leave at once. An animal uh, uh, must be destroyed. What's all this talk of destruction? Asmodeus abused this poor animal to the point of insanity. None can approach it. I see. We can leave it here to descend on its own private madness, or we can put it out of its misery. Or we can remove these shackles and see what happens. Milady. Easy boy. <laughs> Easy boy. Bring me a saddle. <laughs> I said, bring me a saddle. <laughs> Easy. <laughs> Steady now. That wasn't so bad now, was it? In all my days in hell, I have never met a soul like you. Now I have a steed worthy of leading me into battle against Lucifer himself. From this day on, you shall be Visago! Yeah, yeah! Missing something? It's not like Asmodeus to ignore your summons. Perhaps I should see whether his corpulence demands a replacement. 
When I need a fool to administer the seventh level, I will call you. Nevertheless, you have a point, Jester. Insubordination can only lead to a uh, forced retirement, shall we say. Well, I wouldn't let this minor annoyance spoil your imminent victory. Life in hell has taught me to enjoy the simplest of pleasures. I've waited an eternity for this moment. You know what they say. Time sure flies when you're having fun. Mm. Not only do you play the fool, you now mock me with your impudence. Mm. Forgive my indifference, Lord. A boring jester with nothing more to offer. Tell me, what are you good for? <clears throat> Even you must admit, I'm one hell of a spy. As if I need any more of your lot. <clears throat> I would give a king's ransom for one good laugh. If you give me a minute, I'm... Leave sure me! Can... You've wasted enough of my time. <sighs> As you command, my lord. It seems our daughter has felt the raw power of desire. I suspect she dreams of freeing your soul. Soon she will taste all that hell has to offer. The bitter and the sweet. And as for you, you pathetic misguided fool, I'll never understand what she saw in a weakling like you. What makes you think we're in danger? If I hadn't seen it with my own eyes, Asmodeus... Asmodeus was stupid, careless. Without question, Stu. There is the writing on the wall. Mm. You cannot ignore your daughter's hand in this attack. Like father, like daughter. It won't be long before your daughter comes after you. Ah! So you think I should tremble in fear of my ignorant whelp? Ridiculous. Get out! No, wait. You once told me how good a spy you are. Uh -huh. Find 